Henry of Ormond, who just died recently. Yeah. Or am I thinking of a different Henry? No, I'm thinking of his son Henry. Too many Henrys. So Henry Sen Henry Senior, Henry Junior's just died recently. Yes, a suspicious accident. 1162. Thus ending the plot that somebody was trying to, uh, or the faction of someone trying to put him on the throne. He is a Fleming, I was aware of that. But, uh, and he was more capable than my son in statistics, I suppose. To, well, in most respects. However, it just wouldn't be right. So he had to die. He did die. Makes our life a lot easier. Even his eldest son died. Oh dear. But Philip is now Count, a young Count, and a brother Aubrey. We'll see how that develops in the future. And Godzilla the bastard. Four sons, all spread across the land, matrilineally married into House of Montgomery. Good riddance. So there we go. That is the dynasty. 100 members, 79 of them are still alive, and a grand total of 255 prestige. If Duke George I didn't have so many children, well, what can we say? The Fleming dynasty might not be quite so uh, prosperous, but he did, and we have many, many family members as a result of it. So that's as it stands thus far in terms of family. So, with that out of the way, let's press on with today's session, shall we? Oh, what do you know? What do you know? Has he created a faction to put himself on the throne? Well... Oh, Prince Godfrey for England. Who next? Roll up, roll up, put yourself on the throne. Jeez Louise, let me pause it and see what's going on. <laughs> Here we go, 20% for Duke William the Fat, 28% for Prince Robert, okay, 3% for Godfrey, anyone else want to pitch in? Anyone else got any weak claims they want to press on the throne here? Take heed folks, your previous attempts have been fruitless. Prince Robert of England has been released from Duke Robert I of Oxford's dungeon. You know? Yeah, this faction needs to be pressed. He's causing too much problems. It might be worth spending some oh, smallpox in Desmond. Thank you. Welcome to the court. Right, let's just take a look here as we put him into the martial problem. Into the martial problem. <laughs> into the martial uh, spot. And we'll have him train troops for now, I think. So let's just take a quick peek and see how, how he fit into the little scheme here. House Germaina, you see, it is House Germaina. Ah, uh, but you see, you see, they were brothers. Castile, Leon and Navarra, was it? They, uh, it's quite just a different arm, you see, a different arm. He's King Fernando the Dragon, this is the Castile side of the family. This is the Navarra side of the family. What a house, eh? Anyway. Is that little problem sorted? Ah, flatter and soothe, of course. You can afford the taxes. Come round for some drinks and I shall twist your arm. Duke you of Somerset. If we look at Duke Hugh, he's also a problem vassal for my uh, son. All the way down on minus 58. He has to go also. Hmm. 25%? 29%? 5 5.4%. Well, that's hardly going to be pressed, is it? I think the best thing our son can do He's not going to get our assistance in doing it, but the best thing he can do is uh, deal with Flanders pretty swiftly, because I've got a feeling another faction may just spring up here. May just spring up sometime soon. I'm doing my best to help him by trying to eliminate his uh, most troublesome vassals, but he's going to have to uh, stand on his own two feet. He is uh, 45 years old now. He can't rely on Daddy to help him out of every sticky situation. I have 
done my bit. And still bloody doing it by the looks of it as well, in the field of battle. Countess Emma of Northampton is joining a faction for Prince Godfrey. Now it's 7%. The king is getting more and more troops now. I think his levy size is increasing slowly but surely. If we look at his levy, total levy under the realm tree now stands at 8,000 troops. of a maximum. Oh, um, yeah, current levy 8,700. So, because of that, the plot path or the plots are much more uh, are more difficult to press. She's dead. Smallpox, some imprisonments, nothing really we need to be too concerned about. So yeah, because when the king's forces increase and increase, the percentage of the vassal levies in comparison shrink. So it's harder for them to push the push the uh, push the factions. So fingers crossed, we are over the worst of it. Just give it a bit more time, another couple of years. Combine that with the fact that if I die, when I die, of course it's going to happen. My son gets my uh, entire, <laughs> entire land. That's going to assist him, gr you know, greatly. And that will be the time I think that true peace in England will be found. So whilst England is in a relative peaceful time, the only major problem we have right now. Is it, well, there is some infighting going on. There is some fighting, but it's just nothing major. We'll take the time to look at how France are doing. <laughs> it's nice to see another country war torn. Probably more war torn than we are, to be honest. We've got the king defending against uh, a Henry's claim. He's losing badly. Losing badly. Wow, this king is in a spot of trouble, but at age 53, he's probably uh, living at the end of his days anyway. We've got wars going on over here between Leon and Castile. Crusade for Sicily. His Holiness Pope Paschal II has been swayed by the cries for help from the Christian population in the Kingdom of Sicily. Take up arms for a crusade, that's something we haven't done before, but, well, George is not a religious person. There's no reason to join the Pope's crusade. In fact, I'll be damned if I'm going to do anything for the Pope who's proved nothing but troublesome in the past. So, yes, apologies about it, Pope Face, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Enjoy your crusade, folks! How about Bohemond? Is he religious? <laughs> Not a chance. He won't be joining either by the looks of it. I could be wrong. Not many people contributing so far. My liege, your wisdom and legendary ah. Wisdom and Mercy are legendary. Duke William of Norfolk sees... To see, oh, who is he? Oh, the fat man. Yes, the fat man wants to... Wants to do something. Okay, let me just get my head round it. Uh, plot, 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 plot. Where is it? Hmm. This isn't happening fast enough. I think I might... Just do this now. Let's give her... A nice little gift. 20 gold pieces. Uh, ooh, we might not actually sway her now. Um, might not sway her now. Can definitely sway him. I'll try it. It might be a waste of 20 gold pieces, but hey how we can afford it. Ah, lovely. So two new uh, two new plotters to the mix. I already checked their stats before the session, so I know they don't have any bad stats, such as drunkard or honest. 
Which I like a guardian, Toby Fleming, my son. Well, 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 he is a genius, so he needs he needs a good education. He needs a good solid education. He could be something special if we get it right. So who shall educate him? Do we want it to be high with diplomacy? Do we want him to be high with stewardship? Wow. He's a genius. He's Midas touched, patient, proud, just, trusting, charitable and kind. I think he is a prime candidate to train my son up. He's not going to be king, so stewardship isn't as important, but, well, I can't resist. He's definitely a good teacher. So here he goes. Uh, educate my child, please. What did I do there? Did I do something wrong? There we go. He will get a good education with that tutor. I'm confident of it. He comes to my plot. He comes to my plot. Plot power increases to 132% now with five backers. Come on, folks. I want him dead. Do not let me down. We have 350 gold at a plus seven per month. We're raking in the coins, so we're going to uh, once again commence some building. Castle Donjon here, I did say last time, was next. 151. And then in ruin, we will concentrate on the longbow range. Some more rebel, uh, rebels cropping up in England. I'm sure they will be dis dispatched of uh, in due course. Such as now. Poor Duke George. I can't believe he's still in the field of battle at age 68. He's supposed to be slothful. He should be at home with his feet up. He's earned it, for goodness sake. Far from, far from slothful. His ambitious trait took over, I would have said. Ah, she's left a faction now. Oh, Prince Robert for England faction. Duke Richard of Hereford. He must have quite a few lands. It's quite, got quite a big army. That's the main one here, that's the main uh, trouble faction. Let's have a look at Scott. We haven't seen Scotland for a long time. King Duncan the Third Defending against Galway. They're trying to put elective monarchy into law. Hmm. And it seems Norway have managed to capture another another land here. Ross. King of Norway. King Paul the Second of Norway. Oh, something similar. My pronunciations, of course, not being the best. Denmark has a young child queen, which was highlighted by Aquas as a possible reason for the for the fact that Denmark didn't assist King Adam. They may have had their own problems, which prevented them from sending troops down, which of course was good for us. Stroke of luck. Child leader. Female child leader. That's not going to be good for the uh, vassal opinion. Not the greatest of stats either. She got her work cut out for her. But we wish her all the best. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Well, how fitting. Our family chronicles should. Uh, <laughs> Our family should be chronicled, rather. It's been an epic time. It would be a great book. Of course I give him patronage. We gain the trait proud. Well, I think we already... Did we already have it? No, it was a percentage chance and we didn't get it. But proud, of course we're proud. We're proud of our family's achievements. 
Who wouldn't be? I should have looked at. Let me pause it here. Antoine de Vexen Amiens wants to kill Leonard. Well, he's my, is he my vassal? No, he doesn't seem to be my vassal, so I shouldn't really be too. He's a Chancellor. Who is he? Doesn't appear to have any ties to me. He's not one of my council members. Not any of my vassals, so that's none of my opinion, none of my business. Except that Amons wants to kill this one. Stewart wants to kill heir to the county Vexin. Nah, let them crack on with it. Alistair Crepon. Wow. A name that's lived for quite a while. Duke William the Fat wants to see Brittany granted to a. Uh, somebody else. We can't ask him to end the plot. We can, but he's not going to accept. Not a chance. We can ask these people to, to stop backing the plot. Something which I haven't done before. And people have told me about and I keep forgetting. So we're going to ask these people to stop backing the plot. Maybe. You bloody will, love. Don't give me any of this maybe nonsense. You are my vassal, for goodness sake. Countess of Devet. The cheek of it. Ah, Duke Hugh of Somerset. He won't end the plot, will he? He hates the king just as much as anybody else. Flat out no. So these two, Hugh and William the Fat conspiring together, he's another problem vassal that's cropping up in a lot of factions. Maybe I should have him killed as well. So many people need to be dead. <laughs> I can't keep track of it. He will never end the plot, he just doesn't like me. I really should be more careful about this. I don't want my Mitrofan being killed. He's served me so well. Plot power is weak though. So was the one against my son George the Elder and he died. 